We're gonna change the direction of this 90 series 75cc pump. So first thing, let's go ahead and take the um, auxiliary pad cover off of it. There's four big bolts and two small bolts that you need to take out. This particular one that I have has a relief valve in the way. Or I mean a charge relief valve, so it's kind of gonna be hard to take this cover off, but I'll manage. Go ahead and take these all the way out. And this auxiliary pad comes right off. Next, you've got two small plugs to t or um, bolts to take out. Uh, once again, this is held by that charge relief. So I probably should have taken that out. But we're gonna take this one out. This next one, we're gonna kind of walk up and my pump is starting to separate right here. Next, I take the charge pump apart. There's basically three steps involved here. One step is to change the direction of the charge pump. Now, I take the retainer off, and I take this cap off there is a pin right here, and I need to move that about 180 degrees. If you pick it up just slightly, and you get, I don't know if I can get the entire pump to turn. Okay, I move that 180 degrees and reset that. So that's, that part of it's actually done. But I'm not gonna put that together quite yet because I'm not gonna fully put that together because I may have to fight that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my cap as the cap has a indexing hole in it. I'm gonna put that all together. I'm gonna put the retainer on there and I'm gonna put like two bolts in there to hold that just for now so that that doesn't come completely apart on me for my next step. because I may have to take that apart to line everything back up. Okay, so I've got it separated here. I'm gonna pick this whole thing up and I'm gonna pick it over and do the next step. As I turn this over, this um, valve plate right here has got arrows on it. And I'm gonna flip it over the other way so that the arrows go the other direction. As it was this way, and my pump turns this way, now it's gonna go this way, my pump's gonna turn the other way. That valve plate has to be turned over. Now that valve plate might be stuck to this half, it might be stuck to that half. Doesn't really matter where it's stuck. Just notice that these are the alignment pins that hold it when we go back together. So I'm gonna take the gasket and I'm gonna put the gasket over here. Once again, there's some little alignment holes to align that. That can only go on one way as there's holes that line up. Here we have logic plugs, okay? And I have already went down the road of this one and I know that I'm going to change my logic plugs. So if I wanna change the direction, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take this logic plug out. I'm gonna move it here to this position. And I'm gonna take this logic plug out. And 
I'm going to move it to this position. And tighten all that stuff up real nice. Make sure we don't have any dirt on that anywhere. It's nice and clean. And I'm going to reposition this back over the top of this here. Now, I like to look down inside of here and make sure that my valve plate is setting on those dowel pins and is not going to move. Now, and then I, this particular table has a hole cut in it for the shaft to stick through and I can reach up in there and turn that shaft to help line all this up. Now, if that doesn't line up like I'm having trouble lining that up, my next step is to carefully take this retainer plate off of the charge pump. And that will allow it to fall, and then I have to line everything up piece by piece here, which sometimes is easy, sometimes it's rather troublesome. Now, I want to be careful not to move my logic plugs, or, the, or, or sorry, my dowel pin here, but I've taken the one piece out, and I'm going to try to, now that's, that was that easy, now that's lined back up, and that can go down all the way, is the, there's always spring pressure on there that's going to hold that back up, but I've um, made sure that I've lined that stuff up, and I'd like to start my little bolts. Make sure that I stay straight there. And put my other little bolt in there. Kind of loosely put it in. I'm gonna kind of look in here and make sure that I don't have anything out of place. You can barely see in there at this point, but it's just enough that I can see in there. And I'm gonna run these down basically finger tight, keeping an eye on my gap, making sure that I can still kind of slightly um, keep everything lined up. I don't wanna get that too tight because I have to wiggle that around some more. So I'll put my Oh, there's my hole. Okay, that's locked down inside there. I felt that go. Okay, my next... Oh, let's put all of our pieces in there with it. Drive shaft's locked in there. Charge pump cover is nice and clean. I've put it back in. Okay, I felt that go down. I can put my charge pump retainer plate back on now. Now at this point I should be able to turn that pump shaft from the bottom, but it may take me a good pair of pliers or maybe even a small uh, pipe wrench or something to be able to turn it. It's going to be stiff. But I'm done with my charge pump here as I've got the shaft lined up so I can go ahead and tighten that uh, the same way uh, standard bolt torque to a crisscross pattern just like you would anything. Come on. Let me go around and check. I believe those are probably only about 15 foot pounds or less. I'll circle back to that. My next, I want to put my auxiliary pad mount here. 
I'll put these big bolts in. Start these by hand. And uh, I'm getting them started a little ways. Sometimes if these little bolts get out running those, I have to back up to make that old square. Now at this point, all of my six bolts, two big ones, and the, the, or the two small ones and the four big ones, I just kind of bring those down by hand. I'm watching my gap that's down here and making sure that it becomes fully closed without any pressure, excessive pressure, I guess. And it looks like it's, you know, the only little gap I've got is what the gasket is for. So it looks like I'm in pretty good shape. So at this point, I would go ahead and snug all of these things up to stay. And put our auxiliary pad cover back on. We can tighten these two bolts and it's done. That pump is now ready to turn the opposite direction.